so we have just determined some brand new info about the Dracter getting a new spec, more than likely getting electrical abilities very similar to Storm Dragons. There is a sword that drops in Abyss that has all the Dragonflight colors, but it also has the sixth one that is purple. There is a mural of all the aspects with a violet mysterious one standing next to the ones we know. As we know, Razaget was purple, she was close to the dragon aspects, she was personally imprisoned by Naltarian and we know in Altarian was all about the experiments and very sinister experiments at that. So could we really be getting a 6th dragon fight soon and who could this 6th dragon aspect be? Is it possible that Razaget was a dragon aspect that rebelled and her storm dragons were exiled or could this 6th one be related to Deathwing, his void activities or even Tyr and that silver dragon fight? It's been a while that Rich, the sponsor of this video, sent me this wallet and well, it's been nearly 3 years that I've been using it and it's really great, you can put cash, you can put up to 12 cards, there's so many designs you can choose from, it's just amazing. Recently they also sent me the key cases which matches with the wallet perfectly. Now, if you use my code DORN you can get a great discount so make sure to check out my link in the description and get the rich wallet and the key case. So we may be onto something here that is going to be a significant plot twist in Dragonflight that Blizzard has been pretty cleverly hiding. There is already a bunch of old info about the possible 6th Violet Purple Dragon aspect, however there is actually now brand new information that we have directly from 10.1, so this is literally news that is only a few days old that was data mined directly from the 10.1 PTR. So do not waste your time, let's get into some of the new stuff and then we'll see how that kind of checks out with the old news as well. There is a drop from the 8th boss in Abaros, the 10.1 raid, called Ash Kandur, Fall of the Brotherhood. This is a sword. This sword is based on the Ashkandi that drops from Nefarian and Blackwing Lair. Now, you may be thinking, I mean, wow, this is really not anything interesting. It's just a little nostalgia flavor stuff, but it actually is super interesting. This random 8 boss is an Eltarian himself as we will be facing off an echo of an Eltarian with a whole bunch of information that is going to set the ground for the future storyline. If you want the actual details check out my previous video as I covered the entire theory of the possibility of an Eltarian returning and him actually being alive and what this avatar could actually be. However the reason this is interesting isn't because it is an Eltarian sword but because the sword itself has 6 different color variants. All these colors except for the last one are a part of the dragon fights and this makes total sense because Deadwing was all about constantly trying to combine the dragon aspect's powers and gather them and on so many occasions he did this from the drag tier all the way to the dragon soul so we have Ashkandur in black, blue, bronze, green, red and finally in violet color. Now you may be thinking well that might just be a coincidence it is after all just a variation and a V color of a sword I mean who really cares however there is a so much more other information about the possibility of a six dragon fight and a six dragon aspect that is hidden and is kind of all over the place. Now I made a video on this ages ago when dragon fight was a beta and there was this data mine mural where we had Caligos, Alexstrasza, Yezera and this mysterious fort violet dragon on this image. Keep in mind Throughout the years we've seen purple dragons all the time, but there was never a figure, like a purple dragon figure that would stand together with the other aspects. Most purple dragons have been related to the twilight dragon fight and there have been some natural ones. There was actually a violet dragon in the dawn of the aspects, a small one at that. However, this guy seems to be painted together with the big eyes, which kinda just like shows his significance. Now of course I wouldn't be making a video if that is all, there is actually a ton more information to back up this theory. First of all, if you observe the seat of the aspects in Dragonflight, you might notice that one aspect sits between R1 and Arch, well, at least they used to when they were together, however, there are six arches and, as you may know, we only ever had five dragon aspects that we know of. Next down the line, there is the Mother Oldstone and the Evoker Crest that has this shape with crystals that has room for six, but only five crystals are set up there, and these crystals are all indicating the colors of the Dragonflights. The way the sixth one is 
this there seems like kind of it was removed from this entire design now next down the line we can go back to Wrath of the Lich King as we have a code directly from Malistraza where she talks about the violet pro to Drake I cannot help but wonder if things would have turned out differently if the Titans had elevated even one more dragon flight I mean of course a lot of this old Wrath of the Lich King lore can hardly match the new one I mean it is pretty obvious Blizzard never planned this from the start which is why we have the Vermeer's Temple Dragon Blight and all this ancient dragon stuff in Northland despite the fact that the dragons had you know well the the dragon isles and all the structures there and their entire civilization however the situation gets even more intense as we have most recently data mined a significant hint that you guys might have heard of and that is the dracti revokers getting a new spec we still don't know what that is at least at the time when i'm making this video but there are a bunch of hints already first there is a document that all but confirms the introduction of a new directive spec then we have all the stuff with the uh, directive journals the experiments however all that is old info you can check out in my previous videos right now we have some data mine spells and hints that strongly indicates that the new evoker spec may get electrical spells which really brings us to the theory who this sixth dragon aspect may have been if we relate this to the Dracula. A lot of things right now are pointing that the Storm Dragons may have been the sixth dragon fight and with that it is entirely possible that Razaget may have been the sixth dragon aspect. This is of course one of the theories but it definitely does make a lot of sense. This might be why Razaget had that kind of a big role at the start that closeness with Alexstrasza and with Alexstrasza talking about how they were clutch mates. Could it be possible that six dragon aspects were elevated together with Razaget, with being one of them, the Violet Storm Dragon? However, when she realized what the Titans were really doing, how they were really not the saviors that elevated them and were instead conquerors that used them as slaves, she wanted none of that and she started a rebellion, returned to the elemental ways and the entire big massive dragon war started. This also might explain why Deathwing had imprisoned her personally in Forbidden Reach. If you may remember, all the incarnates were obvious in the vault of the incarnates but Razaget was in the personal prison of Neltarium that he drew her into from a void portal that being may have needed all the aspect powers to combine them in Abras for his ultimate creation which is why his sword also has the sixth violet color so it is entirely possible that we might learn there is a lot more to Razaget than we had previously believed however this isn't the only theory there are a lot of other possible explanations a lot of other possible options it is entirely possible that the Dracteer electrical spec has nothing to do with this and that the sixth aspect may have been related to the spirit of decay or you know spirit magic or just decay magic that is so prominent right now with the expansion and that they may have had to remove for some I'd say pretty obvious reason as you may remember in the questline Drelad the brother of Lextraza and Yezera was mentioned for a reason in the Titan Hall we know he fell to Yelacron but seeing that he's an actual brother to the aspects he may have been intended to be the sixth dragon aspect which could bring in a whole bunch of information about the key magic it could return Gellacrond although honestly I doubt this option would really be the case or the more like a scenario is that the sixth dragon aspect may have been related to void or that it was some sort of a project or Nalteria that he had concocted in his laboratory because he made a lot of projects although that wouldn't really explain the murals and why there would be six places atop the seat of the aspects another big hint we have as well is the storyline of tier we know there is a big possibility he may be returning and right now in 10.1 blizzard confirmed that the entire quest line will continue in this patch which it'll bring some pretty big reveals there is an entire talk about the possible existence of this weird silver dragon flight this won't really explain the purple color but maybe Nalterian had twisted this aspect to turn him purple we know Tyr was the one that granted the actual aspect powers that pretty much made all their infrastructure so there is a high possibility that these six dragon fight dragons hint may be entirely related to him it is obvious that this tier quest line is going to be significant so when we tie this in with the secrets of Natarian, we may actually be discovering brand new dragon fight that was completely just written out of history Thank you for watching, check out the Zatarian Alive and returning in Dragonfire by clicking on the screen and check out the Notes Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time!